It's episode four of this brand new series where I give my thoughts on these inspired by fragrances from the Essence Vault. Today's featured scent is number 286, uh, which is inspired by White Patchouli from Tom Ford. So to find out all about this one, and more importantly, whether it's any good and whether it's worth picking up or not, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello and welcome to part four of this special Essence Vault series of reviews from Mags Frags. My name's Paul and today's featured scent of the day is Essence Vault number 286, which is inspired by Tom Ford's White Patchouli from the brand's signature collection, which is classed as a Chypre floral fragrance for women, uh, but I would disagree with that classification because I think men could wear this one quite easily. A 100ml bottle size from the uh, Tom Ford website will cost you £140, uh, but I picked this one up on a, a multi-save offer with my own discount code, so I paid £11.50 for uh, this 100ml size bottle, which I think is fantastic value for money. So if you want to pick up a, a bottle of this to try out for yourself or any other fragrance from the Essence Vault, uh, you can use my unique discount code, which will get you 20% off your order. Uh, and if you want to uh, use my code, it's just my name, Paul, and you'll get you 20% off your, uh, your order site-wide and all year round. Uh, but at the time of recording this video, um, there is a code that gives you a massive 30% discount, uh, which is thank you 30 uh, But if that one becomes invalid, uh, my code will remain active all year round. They even do like uh, the occasional buy one get one free deal so they're always uh, good to watch out for as well. The Essence Vault uh, fragrances are all vegan friendly, they're cruelty free and they come with uh, free shipping when you spend over £45. And I just want to start by this video as I do with every video and say that I'm in no way sponsored by the Essence Vault and I'm not being paid by them to uh, promote their products. I also uh, paid for all of these fragrances that are, that are in this series with my own money and none uh, were sent to me for free so you can trust that these are my own opinions and they're unbiased opinions. Okay, so the top notes in this one are white flowers, coriander, peony and bergamot. The heart notes are ambrette, rose and jasmine. And the base notes in this one are patchouli, woody notes and incense. Okay, so I've never actually owned a, an original bottle of white patchouli myself, but I did manage to get hold of a sample of it from a friend of mine to compare it with this one. And I have also just received the perfume parlor version of it, so I'll, uh, I'll let you know how this compares to that one also. But basically what I get from this one is uh, a very simple, clean smelling fragrance with a gentle, like, airy uh, springtime feel about it. It's got a fresh laundry kind of vibe going on. Uh, and don't be put off by the word patchouli in the name uh, because there's uh, definitely nothing patchouli-like in either the original or these inspired by versions. However, there is a synthetic quality that you'll pick up in all three uh, and I'm not sure where it's coming from and uh, some people could find it a little bit off-putting. Maybe it's the bitterness of the bergamot conflicting with the softer notes like the ambre and the white florals but they're kind of something metallic and almost uh, chemical smelling in the background uh, when you smell it up close. But in the air, uh, this is ultra clean with a, a soft white musk being the most noticeable accord. It stays quite linear all the way through and doesn't really change much from the opening right the way through into the dry down. And it's the uh, the type of fragrance that would uh, complement a plain white t-shirt on a, on a cool but sunny spring day. It's a gent gentle, like relaxing aroma, and the only way I can describe it is by referring to like a clean linen smell. Uh, but with both this the, uh, um, and the perfume parlor copies, I would say they're both super accurate uh, to the original. And the one thing that I have noticed from the uh, Inspired by Fragrance houses is that they all seem to be able to get extremely close levels of accuracy, especially when it comes to like Tom Ford fragrances, uh, which is probably because they're usually so bold and different. But this one that books that trend with a much more soft and natural aroma. 
Yes, yeah, so if you have watched any of my other fragrance videos in this particular series, you might want to skip this part because you probably know what's coming up and just go to the next section uh, because I'm going to repeat this little useful handy tip in all of my uh, Essence Vault fragrance content going forward. And today's top tip for you, and what I personally do is, uh, especially when I'm testing out uh, a fragrance, is I just spray one, make sure it's uh, lined up right, but I just spray one or two sprays on the back of each hand and then I just keep my hands well away from my face and I uh, just let the scent come and find me. You will always get a, an initial blast of fragrance in the air so you will be able to smell it instantly but I avoid going directly to the skin for a sniff for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, then I'll start to kind of get really nice little wafts of it and, and that's when you know it's a, a bit more safe to go in for a, a slightly closer sniff. I do understand how uh, tempting it is and how addictive it is to spray it and go in after two seconds, but trust me, if you do that with copy fragrances, all that's going to happen is you're going to get a nose full of perfume as alcohol, you will go nose blind, you won't pick up the scent and it just ruin your experience. So just spray it and forget about it and that's how to best enjoy all copy fragrances. But that's just a, a little secret between us in the uh, Mags Frags community. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, this is a, a gentle stroll in the park on a, a spring day kind of fragrance and would also be the perfect office scent. It's inoffensive, understated and pleasant, so definitely not one I'd be reaching for to go on like a wild boozy night out. This is very safe and it's the kind of perfume I'd expect to smell on a sensible middle-aged professional who's also family oriented. It just smells like a, a clean home, which is uh, comforting rather than being like a seductive or a sexy kind of scent. This is an EDP concentration with a large concentration of uh, fragrance oil, so it is uh, really long lasting and the first spray produces a nice big loud scent cloud, uh, which is a bit overpowering, but it settles down fairly quickly. It projects really well for an hour or so and then it stays a bit more close to the skin for the next probably four or five hours. The performance isn't quite as good as the original or the Perfume Power version, but like I've stated in all the other videos, uh, when you pay £11.50 for a 100ml bottle size you can't really expect niche quality and it, it will be uh, absolutely fine for the casual fragrance customer who's just looking for uh, a nice value for money alternative. Yeah, this is a really pleasant, clean smelling fragrance, albeit a bit underwhelming for me personally. There's not much to really dislike about it, and I'd say it's the equivalent to like a, a family SUV in the car world. It's, it's like practical, it's safe, and it'll just get the job done. But it's certainly not a, a shiny red sports car or a beefy pickup truck. So if you're looking for something a bit more dynamic and challenging, then maybe this is not the one for you. I do know people who love this one though, uh, so I'd say that just give it a go and uh, see how you personally get along with it. I can imagine it's uh, perfect on a spring day, but here's me testing it and reviewing it at the start of winter, so maybe I'll revisit this one in a few months time uh, in the milder weather, uh, but for now it's, uh, it's about a 7 out of 10 fragrance for me. Yes, yeah, so that's about it for uh, part four of this series. And if you haven't already uh, watched the first three episodes in the series, then head over to the homepage of my channel where you'll find a dedicated Essence Vault uh, playlist, along with loads of other uh, fragrance related content. So in the next episode, I am going to be giving my thoughts on number 431, which is a copy of Dior Fahrenheit. So if you don't want to miss that one uh, or any of the other upcoming fragrance reviews, then uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon at the top of the page. And that way you'll receive notifications and you won't miss any of my uh, future uploads. But if uh, copy fragrances aren't your thing, uh, I am also continuing to review all the latest uh, designer and niche uh, fragrance releases alongside this series. So if you are interested in more original perfumes, there's loads to uh, view on the homepage of my channel. So head over there and uh, take a look. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this uh, latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.